So earlier on, we were talking about the French tech tour. Uh, I was there, Tom. Uh, we, it, was, uh, it was a great experience. We were able to meet Japanese registrars to introduce Frogan's technology, as well as uh, Frogan's addresses and uh, networks that are compatible with uh, Japanese the Japanese language, and you just got back from uh, an assignment in Russia. That is correct. I just came back last week. Uh, it was a very interesting, uh, enriching uh, mission I accomplished in Russia. I was in Moscow. I attended the, the very first French tech tour organized by Business France. It's uh, a local presence of the French diplomacy or an initiative of the French diplomacy. They uh, travel with uh, um, French uh, technology companies. There were two uh, French organizations for this first French tech tour. So we spent approximately one week during which we were able to meet some of the key players in the Russian internet uh, ecosystem. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the vitality of the, this ecosystem in Russia. Tell me a, a little bit. Um, tell me a little bit about um, about some of the entrepreneurs you met. Um, I'm actually going to. I was going to give the floor to Pierre Henri Senav. Well, we did have Pierre Henri Senav with us earlier, um, who's an entrepreneur. I met him. You have a picture here. Uh, in the residence of the uh, French ambassador of France, uh, the France in, in, in Russia, he is um, based in, he's a French entrepreneur based in Moscow. And he heard about uh, Frogan's technology uh, during our visit. I gave him a demo and immediately he started to think about a, a, a portal a, a portal that he could use to sell uh, French furniture in Russia. And um, it was interesting to see how it just came to, um, just occurred to him. It was interesting to uh, get his views and, and, and get his perception. In uh, Russia is very regulated, very regulated uh, by the authorities, and likewise, uh, the, uh, the language that is used is Cyrillic. So it's a very different market. Different language. Um, a lot of things in common with Asia, and correct me um, if I'm wrong, Tom, uh, a lot of entrepreneurs, uh, very active people. Yes, yes. You know, when you go to a country like Russia, it's a great country, uh, a lot of people, and different practices, you have to be very humble. We don't claim to understand how things work, how internet is regulated, how the market is organized, and so on. We try to be humble. And what we were able to discover, to discover, uh, and the same way we were able to discover this in, 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 in Japan, Japan being very different too, is that there is genuine interest for uh, Frogan's technology. Again, the uh, philosophy of Frogan's is to be an open technology. 
Uh, it uh, works with Cyrillic, with the Cyrillic language and Cyrillic content as well. Absolutely. So people immediately were very enthusiastic. As a matter of fact, this uh, uh, gentleman up here is the ombudsman. He uh, works for President Putin. He manages uh, internet regulation. Uh, there is uh, uh, this picture which uh, shows entrepreneurs, representatives of uh, Russian startups. All of them uh, found uh, we're, we're, we're interested in, in, in Frogans. And they invited OP3FT to come back as soon as possible in order to uh, test the technology, uh, create some prototypes, and uh, use it locally on the Russian market. Well, certainly positive, uh, positive feedback in Russia. Interesting for OP3 F uh, OP3 FT's uh, international footprint. A lot of contacts, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, future account, future admi uh, account administrators in Russia. Thank you, Tom.